Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey, 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 hey. Hello, foodie booties. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are talking about the one, the only, Chantal Marie, Chantal Show, The Daily Chantal, Big Beautiful Me, Chantopolis, Foodie Booty Flobby Bobby, Foodie Dookie, Everyday Miriam, Chantal Arafe, Chantal period. We're talking about foodie booty. <laughs> We're talking about the old foodie cutie. I don't know, whatever the fuck she's calling herself these days, that's who we're talking about. We're talking about her. And honestly, I feel like I may end up regretting this video because honestly, I was gonna wake up this morning. I had seen that yesterday she posted a video called Full Day of Off-Track Eating. And I'm like, what the fuck does off-track mean for, for foodie booty, you know? I was like, how, how the fuck can you be off track when, like, I literally just got done reacting to a video where I listed off all of the fucking mukbangs you did? It was literally eight days ago that you were posting your little Burger King bur I'm looking over here because I'm looking at all the fucking mukbangs, okay? And it was literally eight days ago you posted your little Burger King breakfast and a bonus sandwich. It's in the title and you pull out a bonus sandwich. Okay, girl, you ain't been on track. You've never been on track. And I was really looking forward to seeing what that was. And I also was cognizant that it felt like she might be putting that full day of off track eating video out there as kind of a way to avoid what looked like on Twitter, at least, people upset about her her caretaking of animals once again. And I didn't watch the live streams in question. I did see one clip, though, where she talked about how she had purposely been filming down in the, like, pool gym area of her building because Julia, her stray cat that she took in, was in heat. My cat just hollers when they're in heat. No, she's like... Yeah, she hollers loud and then she'll just like, she'll walk in front of me and stop and put her butt in the air and just be like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't want, I don't want people to talk about my cat situation. So I'm just like, I'm just going to go live and downstairs for now. But I did also want to see the cats as well. So yeah, poor Julia. I feel bad. I've been like, you know, rubbing her and... Like, just, like, petting her more, rubbing her belly. It only lasts a couple days. And, of course, people are upset because, like, girl, why aren't you getting your cat fixed? It sounds like there's maybe also something to do with some kind of, like, shot that Julia needs. And maybe Chantal's been going to a whole bunch of different, <laughs> whole bunch of different... Uh, vets trying to find one to say the things she wants to hear or something. I don't know. Listen, one thing these days I will tell you, I'm not the Chantal Marie expert. I do love to occasionally check in and just see what kind of nonsense she's up to. So I was planning, I was planning on, oh, and then the other thing before I get to that. I feel like I'm just rambling at the beginning of this video, which I don't know, maybe that's par for the course of the Zachary Michael channel. But the other thing is, is I saw a tweet from somebody saying that she had stated in a live stream or something that when she was getting ready to travel to wherever, uh, presumably for a visa run, that she was just gonna leave the pets at home with nobody to care for them, uh, as in Julia, the cat, and then, I don't know, Harry, Howie, <laughs> the hamster. And um, anyways, I just, I just had heard that, and I'd seen the tweet, but I never saw any clips about it. And I will say, my ass is not about to go coming through her live streams to find that. So you'll just have to trust uh, whoever it was on Twitter. I think somebody that had mouse in their name <laughs> said that on Twitter and it popped up on my timeline. So you're just going to have to trust old mouse over on the Twitter.com, okay? Because <laughs> they said it and I'm just going to believe it. I mean, it would it would make sense for old Chantal Marie, for sure, for sure. But anyways, I was going to react to this little off my diet situation type of deal. She literally got Hardy's, which like if you don't know this about me, which I did find out from my last Chantal video that sometimes I repeat my lore a few different times. Like apparently I told you all the story about the Activia in my graduate school program before. Uh, so my apologies. I'm turning into 
my grandma. My grandma on my dad's side, she used to repeat her stories 1,200 times, and I'm like, oh, you're becoming Helen. That was her name, Grandma Helen. <laughs> I was like, you're turning into old Grandma Helen. Jesus Christ, Zachary. But anyways, uh, not to give too much of my lore, but I worked at Hardee's for like four or five years of my life, like started in high school, worked a year there after I graduated from college because I didn't have a job. So I saw the Hardys and I saw she was off track and said, I gotta, I gotta do this. I gotta watch this today. And then she had to post this video about, I don't know, defamatory claims. <laughs> the, the thumbnail says the whole truth. What do you know about the whole truth? The whole truth, no content. So here come the abuse accusations, which like anytime she talks about anybody not having any content, I'm just like, girl, what, what exactly is your content? <laughs> Did you did you reach your quota for eating off track? So you got to come up with some other kind of content today. Like, please be serious, Chantal Marie. It also features an image of FFG, who is a popular Chantal reaction channel, and some poorly photoshopped cigarettes in an old an old FFG's mouth, and then a dog. Which, like, I do know there's lore with FFG losing her dog. That sounds very sad. Losing an animal is, is very sad. So like why Chantal's bringing that shit up? I don't know. I know that Chantal likes to bring it up a lot. I know that Chantal likes to bring up FFG smoking around her animals a lot as if like Chantal's not hitting the hookah pipe. The No, it's not the hookah pipe. It's the shishka. Whatever it is that she is always sitting over there smoking on, as if she's not sitting over here smoking at all hours of the day too, you know? So it's just, Chantal's just yapping. And I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna regret watching this video called Defamatory Claims. I'm sure I'm gonna regret it. But listen, I figure I can't possibly sit here and react to her off track on her diet after she's posted this, because people would be like, Zach, why aren't you reacting to this? So we're reacting to this, okay? And you get what you get and you don't throw a fit, all right? <laughs> so let's get to, let's get to, shall we? <laughs> I, from me to you that you I have to be honest, I was kind of wondering if she would put in this fucking ca cameo advertisement on a video like this, and I'm kind of gagged that she did. She said, I'm going to shit talk, but before I shit talk, just a reminder, I've got the old cameo in case you want to request anything, and I will put on my fake saleswoman voice, my low BMI voice. To, uh, to sell it to you all before I'm sure she's about to get in here and start ranting and raving about FFG. Forever? Or maybe a special shout out? Or maybe you just have a pressing question for me I don't. answered. All I sure don't. All you do is request a personalized video or direct I message won't. from me on Cameo. I'm surely it's not gonna. Easy. Cameos also make great birthday or special occasion gifts. From Hope somebody else. You. Bye. <laughs> from somebody else. Get the fight, Julia. You want to talk about the worst fucking birthday present you could give me? A cameo from Foodie Beauty. <laughs> Ways to tell me you don't give a shit about me or my birthday? Send me a whole cameo from Foodie Booty. Now, is, what what is this? Now, what are we doing here? Hi, guys, and welcome back to another video. So, I hope you have your pearls ready to be clutched because the shit no kind of wait i do have pearls give me a second <laughs> give me a second i got these for uh for halloween last year when i went as ina garden you know the barefoot contessa i don't know if i'm gonna be able to get these on by myself did i have Noel help me with this whenever we did that come on okay Pearls equipped, <laughs> ready to be, ready to be clutched. Video, and when it comes to my pet care, people like to clutch their pearls over every little thing. I'm clutching, and <laughs> that's what I'm going to discuss today. I'm going to tell you the full history story about Julia. Are you going to get Julia fixed? Are we fixing Julia? Are we going to leave her in the care of somebody else when you leave for a visa run? Is she well cared for? And then I'm not going to talk about it anymore. That Well, that, I'm sure, is a lot. I mean, we don't know yet, because she'll have to actually stop doing it before we can uh, decide if that's a lot or not. 
But she always ends up talking about this shit again. Um, so basically what's going on is I'm now being accused of being an animal abuser because my not, cat has not been spayed yet. Not from this reactor. Reactor in quotation marks. Listen, FFG may be a lot of things, but she certainly is a reactor. <laughs> like, that certainly is what she does on her channel. You don't, you don't have to put quotation marks around that. And she has been given two times, not once or three times, it's two times, uh -huh. a, I don't, I don't know what they call it, a progestin shot. It's a hormone shot to keep her out of heat for several months. Okay. Her first shot lasted almost a year, exactly. Um, so yeah, they can last several months. Okay. The first one was administered by um, a different veterinarian, this one a different one. Why do you have more than one vet? I mean, it's not not the case that you wouldn't necessarily sometimes, like, need to go somewhere else. Like, my dogs have now gone to two different vets, right? <laughs> like, like over the, over the time of having dogs, like, we did make a switch eventually because we didn't like the customer service at one of our vets. But, like, it doesn't seem like you've had Julia for that long. Like, why are you going to different vets? I'm also just, like... If it's not an issue, I, I feel like what she's preparing us for right now in this moment is, like, why it's not an issue that she hasn't gotten Julia fixed yet. But if if you didn't think it was an issue that she wasn't fixed or that she was in heat or anything like that, then why would you, in a live stream, talk about how you purposely, purposely filmed somewhere else so that people wouldn't know that your cat was in heat. You told on yourself, bestie. You told on yourself. Uh, two different veterinarians. But if you're gonna call me an animal abuser for give, getting her this shot, then you're also calling the veterinarian an animal abuser, <laughs> which I can guarantee you 100%. <laughs> They're not in the profession to abuse animals. Well, girl, I don't I don't know anything about the vet. I don't know who your vet is or what they're doing. But I do know that outside of this, you have not done a great job of taking care of animals. Like, regardless of anything to do with Julia, you for sure have it. I'm not, I'm not a cat expert, though. I do just know that it's generally recommended that you, you fix your, your animals, your dogs or your cats. It's usually better for them in the long term. You would need to call them that logically because they are the ones who actually. Now what? Now Poe is getting all fresh right. Poe, come here, bud. Gave the shot. And actually, when we first brought Julia to the vet when she went into heat to subject to see about getting her fix, which we did do, the vet mm -hmm. was the one who suggested the shot for now because she needed other treatments that uh, he wanted performed before she could be fixed. So okay. here's the story. We got yeah. Julia. Yeah, tell me the story, because also, <laughs> here's here's my problem, I guess, with girls just lately in general, is like, you're only telling all of this after you got caught. You're only coming in with this additional story after you got fucking caught talking about it. So like, like you could have just given this full story to begin with, but you didn't from someone Salah knew, and they, that person that Salah knew got them from somebody they knew and had to leave the country. So they were looking to rehome Julia. The, Julia was never theirs. They had other cats to take care of. So um, that person wasn't really sure about her whole history, about her exact age and everything like uh -huh. that. So we weren't sure about her exact age. It was just an estimate. I can't even remember now what it was, but she was pretty young. <laughs> um, but that wasn't 100% certain. That was just an estimate to tell you guys whatever. Um, so <laughs> now, now she's going back and being like, I don't know how old she actually is. I probably told you at one point that she was a certain age, but that was just, that was just an estimate. You can never be too sure. <laughs> Again, it's like this revisionist history that she has to come pull out because people people are like, your story's not adding up, Sister Sue. She went into heat the first time. Okay. And so we brought her to the vet almost right away. Um, the almost vet right away. Examined her as a good veterinarian would do, and saw that she had like a skin condition. We had no idea about that 
He wanted to be fixed up first. Okay. So we had to take her where she gets her nails trimmed, get her a couple of these, uh, the special shampoo to wash her skin. Um, and that would have to clear up before she could be vaccinated. So then we had to get her vaccinated. And then we had to arrange to get her fixed. But we thought, you know, even the vet said there's no rush because she has this vaccine that can last up to a year. And it did not, not a year. He said actually 10 months. This actually lasted almost a year. So usually it's about between seven to 10 months, but uh -huh. it can last longer. I, I feel like she's, I feel like she's making up the year thing. It seems like she's, she's saying like, oh, it totally did last up to a year as to like catch up for like when she, she wasn't actually caring about Julia being in heat. I don't know. There's something about just listening to her where I'm like, this. It sounds like you're just saying shit. I don't know. Maybe I've been listening to too much Alexis and Amberlynn, to be honest with you. Maybe I'm just super skeptical of everybody, but this feels like a lot of of the the situation of like I got caught and now I'm I'm telling additional parts of this story to try to get caught up. So um, we just weren't really keeping track, I guess of the exact date. Why wouldn't you? It would wear off. Why wouldn't Another you? Is actually Wait, but why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't that be something important to you so that you would know, like, if you had the intentions of, like, okay, I got this shot for her so that we can get some of the other stuff cleared up, the, the skin condition, the whoever, the whatever, then why wouldn't you pay attention to the date that that was supposed to wear off so you would know when you need to go back in and get your cat fixed because it seems like it was allegedly a priority to you so why wouldn't you want to go do that as soon as you could to to take care of your cat why wouldn't you know what date it wore off or was supposed to wear off maybe it didn't actually wear off why why did it you have to wait until she was actually in heat again for you to know he didn't want to give her the vaccine while she was in heat because whenever she was in heat she was under more stress and just more you know tired and everything like that so he wanted to wait till after her cycle was over okay she was no longer in heat because this injection would have put her out of heat within three days so it's like almost like a form of birth control which even humans take all right so um, sure again if it was animal abuse the doctor would be responsible for the animal animal abuse because they're the one who recommended it to us in the first place while we took care of her other health issues. I don't I don't understand. So are we getting it are we getting Julia fixed now that the shot wore off or whatever? I'm I'm confused. I, I don't know if the like what the deal with the shot is. Uh, both of my dogs were already fixed whenever we uh, adopted them from the rescue. And I don't, I honestly, with my dogs growing up, I was not the person responsible for it. So I don't know how that works. My dogs already had it taken care of. But like, I just don't understand. I don't understand why you wouldn't just prioritize doing that now. Like, shouldn't that resolve everything? Go schedule it now. Um, to say for a creator, you know who it is, to constantly make... <laughs> You know who it is. You know who I'm talking about. I don't understand. Like, you literally already showed her picture in this video. What is the issue with just saying her name? <laughs> it's not like if you say FFG three times, she's going to pop up like Beetlejuice in your house or something. At least I don't think so. I don't think, I don't think she has any magical powers like that. You've already used her picture in this video and in the thumbnail. You mark as well just say her name. On 10, on the basis that we abuse our animals is full defamation, full defamation. And I might be in Kuwait now, but uh -huh. this person better hope, better hope Girl, you, that I don't follow through with a defamation case in the future. And you won't. And you won't, Chantal. And, and you fucking won't. How, if you were going to do something to FFG, you would have done it a long ass time ago. Probably would have done it when she fucking tricked you out of your cat because you're dumb as hell and gave your cat to your biggest hater, your biggest op on the internet. Please be serious. If you didn't do something to her then, you're not going to do it to her now. Just like you didn't follow through with uh, taking me to court for copyright claims, right? Just like you haven't done anything 
anything. Just like you haven't taken your diabetes seriously. Just like you <laughs> just don't give a shit about doing anything seriously in your life to begin with. Please, Chantal. You can laugh now, but all of it, in my, uh -huh. on my side, all of it's documented on their channel. Like, they have these streams and all these videos. Uh -huh. And even if they take them down, the internet's forever, right? So, all right. Anyway, Do that, it. That's what it is. It's pure Do information. It. Even Law lawyer up, Chantal. <laughs> lawyer up with all that, that mukbang money you got. Do it. Do it. Using me of animal abuse with BBJ. I have those files from the animal control who are responsible for animal abuse cases uh -huh. on my side. They've always left our premises without any account, uh, without... <laughs> Um, you know, you know how she said at one point in this video, I'm gonna talk about this this once, this Julia stuff once, and then I'm never talking about it again. You know how many times she said that about BBJ, and yet here we are fucking talking about BBJ again. <laughs> like, please. Deeming any abuse or neglect at all. So that's it. That's all I'm gonna say about that. I'm not revisiting old drama. There's well, just you, no way. you kind of did. Um, you kind of just did, Bestie. So back to Julia. <laughs> so it was the vet who actually suggested this while we could take care of the other issues for uh -huh. Julia. Um, actually, as a side note, I just want to say all of this is not really anyone's business how I take care of my pet. If my pet, she's being well fed, she's spoiled with love, and she's very comfortable here. Like, if she was out on the streets of Kuwait in the heat with no food, shelter, water... Sure. Up, you know? Sure, sure, so, sure, sure. Um, well, it sounds like, I don't know, from your story, it sounds like y'all got, got Julia from a friend of a friend and she was already, like, in somebody's home. Like, you didn't have to take on any animal, to be honest with you. But, you know, sure, I would be inclined to agree that she's probably in a better place living in the confines of your home... Uh, than, than out on the streets of Kuwait. Sure, that still doesn't mean you're a great pet parent. You're a lazy pet parent. <laughs> you're a lazy pet parent. You, you do not prioritize your, your pets. And you certainly were borderline, if not actually neglectful of BBJ and Sam. So, Please shut the fuck up. <laughs> Please. I, you know, I may be inclined to agree a little bit that it's nobody else's business, but, like, animals really can't defend themselves. Like, an animal can't get up and leave Chantal's home, right? So, like, in that case, I, you know, I think somebody needs to do it. <laughs> you know? I don't know. There's just this person who has to keep making me, twisting things, making me out to be a villain so they continue to have content. Uh -huh. Anyways, meanwhile, they smoke all the time. Miss Ma'am, I could probably pull up 12 different live streams where you're you're smoking on that little shisha. I don't know. I really don't know what it is. I'm so sorry. I'm not trying to be offensive. I really don't know what it's called. But she smokes all the time in her own home. I, I have to sit there and listen to the bubbles when you're live streaming and I, I occasionally want to tune in. What do you mean? Uh and their animals with their cigarette smoke. So, and yes, I do smoke shisha once in a while. Shisha, but I'm there you go. Accusing people of animal abuse, am I? So, well, <laughs> well, well, you're not accusing them. First of all, you kind of are accusing them of animal abuse. If you're literally sitting here criticizing FFG for smoking around her animals, then yes, you are. That's that's what you're implying. That is what you're implying. So yes, it is fair. It is fair for you to say, or for people to say, how are you going to criticize her for that when you do the same thing? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> She's so goofy. She immediately contradicted herself. Um... So I guess we just didn't really keep track of like how long the vaccine was lasting. Yeah, again, she did end up going into lazy, lazy. That's that's what I'm talking about. A lazy pet parent. You know, is Julia in the worst place ever that she could ever be? Maybe not, but she's not in a, the greatest place she could ever be. You're a lazy pet parent. 
heat again. And I think what triggered it was me having the scent of those male cats on me from downstairs because she was really into the scent and that's, she went into heat like the next day. But but that's not the case because weren't you going downstairs to the cats by the pool? Isn't what you said that you went down there to begin with because you wanted to avoid Julia being in heat and people talking about Julia being in heat? Um... So, we are traveling very soon. Uh -huh. I don't feel comfortable with getting her fixed without me being here to care for her and to keep sure. it her. Um, so, basically, um, we made the decision to go back to another vet and another pet clinic and uh -huh. say, you know, can we get her another shot for now? And the vet <laughs> said yes, but... This will be yeah. the last one. Usually two is, like, the max recommended. That That's so crazy. How long are you going to be gone? Can you not just do it when you get back? How long are you going to be traveling? You really said, I'm going to continue putting this off. I'm going to keep putting it off. That doesn't make any sense. Why wouldn't you just prioritize this? Um, just to prevent problems in the future. That the hormones could cause. So, um, seeing that we don't really have another choice I'm, because we don't have the time. I know people will say, well, that's not an excuse not to get your pet. Not getting the fix is not a medical emergency, okay? Like, we have these tickets bought. We have the hotel paid for. Uh -huh. We have everything. And we will lose money um, on the plane tickets. And well, that's maybe why your dumbass should have thought about this to begin with. Maybe if you would have considered when the first shot was supposed to, to run out or stop being effective, you could have planned it for then. But you didn't because this isn't a priority to you. You never were going to prioritize getting Julia fixed. So, uh, yeah, it, seeing as the vet said it was okay to get another shot, we got her another shot. And lo and behold, she's fine. She has like no symptoms of any side effect she's back to her regular self okay she's not lethargic or not eating or anything like that trust me she's eating and she's running around chasing where's she at right now else. so <laughs> where's she's she at right time. now anytime you've ever seen her on video she's not cowering in a corner she's not afraid she's um not emaciated she's always on her back which is the most comfortable happiest position a cat could be in I mean anytime I talk to her she flops on her back and rolls over you've seen that many times I mean you're really relying on me to just take your word for it Chantal <laughs> and I just I just in general don't trust you but okay all right sure whatever just like you've seen many times in my previous streams and videos where BBJ was extremely happy BBJ was extremely old, had a lot of health problems that see, old cats have. See, and this is why I can't necessarily trust you, because I feel like there is a lot of documented footage of, like, BBJ not looking happy. <laughs> I feel like I feel like people didn't just come to the conclusion that you weren't treating BBJ well without, like, some level of evidence based on things they saw in your, your videos and your live streams. Um, so, I mean, yeah, like, Julia's fine. Um, if you want to accuse me of being an animal abuser because my cat was in heat, that is just beyond ridiculous. And after this video, we're not even going to address anything ridiculous that's, like that. That's, first of all, probably not true. You probably will address it again, Chantal. <laughs> like, I just know you. You probably will. And honestly, if that was gonna be your approach, like, if your approach was just like, these claims are so ludicrous that moving forward I will not be addressing them, then you should have just not addressed them now, you know? Like, if you feel confident that you're not doing it, why are you addressing it now? I mean, the reality is, is I think she is very insecure about, about her, her pet parenting. I don't know why I said pet like that, but I don't think she's very confident about her pet parenting or her history of pet parenting. And so I do think she's like a little insecure about it and she feels like she needs to address it. I also think the other reason she's addressing it is she knows that this is actually stuff that will get people to click on her videos. Because you know what people aren't clicking on? Her 1200 month bangs. All right. So she, she's going to put in the thumbnail of this video that FFG has 
no content, so she has to come up with these, like, abuse accusations. But honestly, that's kind of what Chantal is doing, too. She said, I'm running out of stuff that people are interested in. Nobody, nobody gave a shit that I ate off track for a day. So I guess, I guess I'll lean into this drama regarding my cat. But I promise I'm never going to talk about it again. You can keep, you know, keep making your diff defamatory videos. I, I hope that they stack up. And I hope for your sake that I never <laughs> take action on You it. won't. But you we'll won't. See, because FFG has nothing to worry about. You won't. You won't do it. <laughs> and if you do it, I'll eat my words and then I'll be watching. I'll be watching. I'll be watching the mess. But I don't think you ever will. I really don't. That's just ridiculous at this point. Like, people are getting away with the most vile things and actions and, and saying and doing the most vile things. Um to people in the community and it's just like going too far it's just being stretched too far have you have you not done plenty of vile nasty things yourself Chantal I'm, I'm just asking I'm just I guess I don't I feel like you've done a lot of vile nasty stuff so you might want to like chill on throwing these stones in this glass house you're living in I get it that I'm not the person that I was and you don't have the content that you used to and I, you know guess what people grow and they change mm. and you're you're um, growing and changing all right I'm not here for your entertainment like in the way that my life is not going to just be your entertainment in the way that you think it is your my life that I put onto YouTube to allegedly entertain people, it's not gonna be your entertainment. And I'm gonna get one up on you by just posting the most boring, dry ass mukbangs you ever seen. <laughs> she said, one way I'm gonna win on the haters, one way I'm gonna get a one up on the haters is just by simply not giving them any entertainment, even though that's allegedly what I'm supposed to be doing on YouTube. Gotcha, haters. Chantal one, haters zero. Um, so, you know, I'm sorry that you can't profit off of my downward spi spiral over and over um, mm. like you could before, but that doesn't mean that you can just invent BS like Well, that. I... I think it's a reasonable concern. I think people have have very good reason to be concerned about your pet parenting and also why you are putting off getting a a necessary procedure done for your cat. Like, sure, maybe it's not a, a medical emergency, but also like why are you why are you continuing to put it off? You know, because you're lazy. That's why. <laughs> because you're lazy. And you don't care about your animals as much as you claim you do. Defamatory content. That That's I'm my opinion. Because my cat is not spayed and was given an injection, a hormonal injection, to keep her out of heat for a while. Um, and yes, that is a good excuse to get her the injection because... Um, I don't want to have her have an operation, which is more major for cats to be, female cats to be spayed than males, and just take off and leave the country because I would worry about her. Sure. So why yeah. didn't you do this months ago when the shot wore off in the first place, Chantal? Oh, like, <laughs> my pets are very much loved and you've never seen otherwise in any of my videos. Well. Uh, Julia has always been happy. What about so, BBJ? Um, <laughs> yes. It's just something... You want to talk about Sam and BBJ? And, you know, I've seen some creators, some reactors say that I'm stupid for bringing this to the internet. Why would well, <laughs> I would say just in general, you're not the brightest. <laughs> I, would, I would say you can't get... That's not necessarily defamatory. <laughs> that's, that's not defamatory if it's based in truth. <laughs> would I do that if I'm just going to be criticized for being an animal abuser? And, you know, my answer to that is because I simply don't care what people think about it. I don't care what people think about it, but I do have a 19 minute long video where I'm going to tell you all how much I care about what people think about it. Not an animal abuser. I'm not going to hide 
actions that are not harmful just because some other people want to twist it and interpret it that way. You know, if the injection, the hormonal injection, mm -hmm. was something that was so harmful for pets and was so... Um, it was a form of animal abuse. The vet vets would not be administering it. I I have no idea if that that shot is good or bad for for animals. I really don't. I think the larger question is just like you continuing to put this off. Like I I feel like the the goal of shots like that is probably not to just like let you the pet pet owner like take your time getting your animal the care that they need. You know, like I don't I don't think that it's just intended to prolong your your negligence no like um there can be side effects just like with any medication you give to someone or to your pets but luckily there's been no side effects with julia at all so she's fine um you can rage all you want mm, okay about it all right um again but i'm so happy that you have those videos documenting your defamation Thank you very much. I just like, listen, I I haven't looked at FFG's channel in a minute, but let me just go pull it up because I'm like, what, what videos are so defamatory? Like, if I just go look at the thumbnails, do you think that I will see things like of the live streams, like things that, well, this one does say another case of animal neglect, but it sounds like it's probably just a full on conversation about about this situation. It sounds like they probably talked about whether or not Chantal needed to get Julia fixed, you know? So I don't, I don't know that that is, and that's also one video. The rest of them don't seem to be a, like explicitly about that. There's something about a deleted rage, angry grandma is in a mood again and lashing out. There's double fisting Burger King, giving up fast food. There's eat, sleep, rage, mangled meat, repeat. <laughs> I don't know what some of these things even mean. <laughs> I really don't. Foodie beauties melting and mad and crumble lens, hectic buzz balls. Like, it doesn't seem like most of these are even about it. That, and there's one video in the past two, three weeks about, about her as a pet parent, and the rest of them seem to be about her eating. <laughs> and also, like, it doesn't even seem like the animal neglect video is doing as well as some of the other videos about about Chantal. So, like, Chantal's claims that, like, FFG needs all of this for, for views and content is crazy, considering that it's performing, I mean, maybe a little worse, but about the same as most of FFG's other Chantal content. Um, if people want to clutch their pearls about that situation, <laughs> please do it elsewhere because I'm honestly do what elsewhere trying to rebuild an audience. Who are they not doing it elsewhere on their own channels? <laughs> what do you mean do it elsewhere? Do you mean in your own comment section? Are her comments even open? Oh, they are. They are. <laughs> okay. I, I'm just like, what do you mean do it elsewhere? I think most people, FFG certainly is just doing it on her channel elsewhere. Who is not negative all the time, doesn't come on my streams to just, you know, come up with all these things, cause drama, incite drama, and everything else. Like, I'm just over it. I'm just totally over it. Um... Yeah, they're just, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done with it. I'm done with that drama. I it's love just, that she's like, I'm trying to build a new audience that's not based in drama. And you can tell that I'm trying to do that by the fact that I'm posting this video right now where I'm engaging in the drama. <laughs> it's not, it's, it's never ending. It's just always something else. And the things are becoming more and more outrageous. Outrageous. Um, so if you're going to call me an animal abuser again, just emphasizing that you'll need to call the vet an animal abuser because they're the ones who suggested it in the first place and they're the ones who administered it. Uh -huh. um, I don't think that a veterinarian would um, administer animal abuse on their animals, on their patients. So that's just something that's like, 
this person's audience is not logical. They don't think logically. Um, they're just hive minded, pack minded. Then, then why are you engaging just like a with bunch that? Of coyotes, like, rawr, rawr, rawr. and they don't, and they don't think, and they don't think for themselves. Um, and unfortunately, that's what happens. You have these wild, ridiculous accusations. Also, and this is like, I, I feel like she's acting like this is the first time she's ever been called an animal abuser. But I, I hate to tell you, Chantal, there's like a whole hashtag. Hashtag foodie beauty animal abuser on the Twitter.com where, where they have been calling you that for a while. This is not new, <laughs> okay? So, like, and like it, it goes beyond Julia. It goes back to Sam and BBJ. I, I don't know what to tell you, but this is not new. Um, you can think what you want. Um, when we get back, we have about maybe, I don't know, the we're not going to wait, like, the full time, like last time, but... Um, I'd say after maybe five or six months, we will... Girl, um, what? <laughs> get her spade. We'll I don't believe it. Go into another Some, somebody set the, the, the reminder five or six months from now, and let's let's check back in and see if she's done it, because I don't, I don't foresee it happening. I think she'll just start hiding Julia when Julia's in heat. Like, I just do not imagine that she'll actually do any of it. I, maybe I'll be wrong, and hopefully I will be for the sake of Julia, but, but I just do not foresee Chantal following through with this shit. Um, but because of the injection, there's no rush, so... Well, there's yeah. never been a rush she for you. done it sooner this time? Yes. Um, yes. I don't think she... She may not have gone and eat if she didn't smell the cats, but it was always a possibility. So maybe we should have got it done before Absolutely. we traveled, like way before. Absolutely. But even if we didn't get her spayed, it's not animal abuse. You can't go around saying that animals who are not spayed are abused animals <laughs> or neglected. Like, it's just not the case. It's mm. not it. Everyone has a different opinion on that. Some people I, are against getting surgery for their animals, and that's I think, their right. I think neglect is a, is a uh, wide wide-ranging word like I think there's different levels of neglect for instance and I think it's fair to say that you forgetting the date that your the shot wore off on your cat and you you didn't keep track of that and then you chose to like not get her her the the surgery the operation she needed within a timely manner I could understand why people would think that's neglectful especially because so she's putting out this like idea like well there's some people who don't believe in operating on their their animals they don't believe in getting their their pets fixed and I love that she's saying that as if she isn't also acting like, no, I agree, I should get my my cat fixed. We just have it. I, here are all the reasons why I have it. So it's like she's putting out these like other examples of shit that doesn't even matter. When she agrees, she needs to get her cat fixed and she should have already done it. <laughs> all right? Just goofy. I think that that could be neglect. I think that that is a type of animal neglect, like acknowledging that you should have gotten your pet fixed, but then you didn't, but then you didn't do it quick enough or as soon as you should have. That sounds an awful like a type of neglect to me. That's their right, you know? So unless the animal is being starved, um, shut in, you know, shut away and actually neglected without uh -huh. food or water or love or attention for several days, for several, you know what I mean? Like, um, sure. I think that that is probably a far worse form of neglect for sure, <laughs> but that doesn't mean that you not getting this operation for Julia isn't a form of neglect. Just because you, you don't know what you're talking about. She should shush These me. accusations are so invalid and they're defamatory. And I know that this also, community... Like to, reactors are I don't know. I don't know about suing in like Canada or Kuwait, but like I know in the U.S. to to like successfully sue for defamation. Like in addition to being able to prove that like it's just not true, you also have to prove so much other stuff, like a, a loss of of impact on your your channel, on your business. Like it had to harm your business in some type of way. 
And honestly, you're you're the one that's hurting your own business over here, Chantal. I don't know how to tell you that. Care about that? They just don't. That's exactly what they're aiming for, and they, they're aiming at anything they can, you know, hang on to, or um, twist, or whatever to make money. But it's just not the case, and it can backfire. And what goes around comes around. Let's see um, you do it. Definitely. I would. So. I would love to see. Not that I'm asking to put anybody through this, right? But I would love to see Am or Amberlynn Chantal actually follow through with some of this nonsense, like lawsuit nonsense that she claims that she might do maybe someday. Because I just know she never will. I just know she is all talk, no action. I would be careful about that if I were you. Um, but other than that, yeah, I, I eventually told like her, people... Her threats with everything are so weak because this woman hasn't followed through on a goddamn thing her whole entire life. <laughs> like, she, she hasn't completed a single thing that she's threatened to do in her whole entire life. About Julia, first I was in the, the gym and the pool area... Um, a mixture of reasons. I wanted to see the cat, a change uh -huh. of environment, but also I didn't want her meowing loudly on the camera. I didn't because you know, she was want in heat to have to keep talking through that. And also, I knew what people were going to say, and I was right. So I just thought, just to avoid the headache. But then something switched, and I was like, I wanted to go back up to my apartment, and I was like, why am I staying here just to just because like. Why do I care what these people think? You know? I, why Why do you care? Why are you making this video right now, Chantal? The world wants to know. If you really don't care what these people think, then just keep it moving. Why do I care? I'm not gonna like... Uh, you know, that's you? the thing is like, sometimes I genuinely do care what people have to say in, in, in my comments or things like that. And I address them because I do genuinely care. I don't ever say it in the, the guise of like, I don't care what people think about me because obviously I do. That's why I address it. So like, why are you addressing these things if you don't care, Chantal? not living the life how I want to just because of what people are going to think. Go ahead, call me an animal abuser because there's zero truth to it. Mm, so that's Go ahead, food in call her that. I'm going upstairs. My cat's in heat. It is what it is. Think what you want. And of course, right away, oh, she's an animal abuser. You know, I, I, I knew it. That's why I was in the gym. But uh -huh. I don't care because it's not true. So if it's not true, you don't care about it. That's how it goes. Mm, uh -huh. And after this video... I'm not even going to talk about any All right, of this anymore. Bet. Um, if you come into my streams and you accuse me of being an animal abuser, I probably uh -huh. won't care, but you'll probably still be blocked by bots. <laughs> I, I won't care, but you probably will still be blocked. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny how she, like, contradicts herself in a matter of literal moments, seconds. So... Whatever, we don't need that negativity. Whatever. Um, you don't have a business in my stream anyway, watching me if you were, you know, if you're, you think I'm such an, a horrible person. Um, so, but yeah. She said, I, you think you, I'm a horrible person? Stop watching. <laughs> you better, you better be careful what you wish for, Chantal. <laughs> you better be careful. Never. I would hurt myself before I ever did harm to my pet. So... Yeah, and I'm pretty sure the veterinarian wouldn't do harm to my pet. Sure. So for them to suggest that in the first place, um, you know, and yeah, she did you get know. the baths, she did get the vaccines. Um, All right, wrap again, it up, Chantal. It's like anyone's business like what I do with my pet it's nobody's business what I do with my pet but I will also make a 19 minute long video telling you what I do with my vet but it's not your business like at all you know um she's very happy so yeah are Anyways, you happy are um, you good I don't have anything else to say about it just that and again that's gonna be the last time that I ever we'll see talk about we'll see this situation um, she will not go into heat for a while, and inshallah, and we will take care of it before that happens again. So we have decided she will be spayed eventually, but just right now, this was the best option. Like I said, we are traveling. It was too. We, soon I got it. I got happened, it. So 
I got it. Yes. Anyway, I guess that's it. Thank you for listening. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. See ya. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh, Chantal, you never change. Literally. <laughs> It's, it's always the same thing with you. Uh, that's all I have. That's all I have, folks. I, I think I said what I needed to say in this video, so not, let me not repeat myself unnecessarily. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did and you're brand new, make sure to subscribe down below. Hit the bell button so you get notifications every single time I post a new video. Make sure to uh, leave me a comment, hit like, click share, and follow me on all my social media. I had so much fun today. I'll see y'all next time. Bye!